What is going on guys? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the DynamoDB Put Item API. Uh, I'm gonna to talk to you about what it is, why it's useful, why you wanna use it. Then I'm gonna show you very quickly a practical example using Node.js and JavaScript of how to actually uh, call it and get it going. Uh, so the Put Item API is probably the second most popular API call you're gonna be using if you're working with DynamoDB. Uh, so what put item allows you to do is basically just insert data into your table. Um, so you insert data using this API one record at a time per request. Um, so it's very, very simple how it works. You just provide the necessary keys that are on your table. Uh, keep in mind that it, your primary key must always be populated with a value in order for this to succeed. Uh, also keep in mind there's some behavior of this that you should be aware of if you are you know, overwriting items with different values over time. Um, so if we take a look at this, um, if an item has the same primary key as the new item, sorry, if, if an item has the same primary key as the new item that already exists in the specified table, the new item completely replaces the existing. Uh, so just keep in mind, like if you call a put item, it'll completely clobber whatever is already there with the same value, um, with the same key value that is. So just keep that in mind when you're using this thing, uh, you can quickly overwrite uh, content if you're not careful. Uh, and secondly, you can also do a condition, conditional put operation. So for example, um, say you want to make a decision like only put something um, to this table if some condition is met. So say for instance, uh, in this example, they're saying uh, only call the put item if the specified primary key doesn't exist. So in this case, it would essentially ensure that you're not overwriting anything. Uh, so it's very useful if you're kind of not sure if a key already exists in your table, or you just wanna make sure you're not gonna overwrite something prior to uh, actually making the API call. Uh, so that's about how it works. Let's check out how to actually call it now. So in this example, we're using Node.js. Uh, so we're setting up a params object and we're specifying details about the item in this uh, kind of uh, json here so we're saying uh, in this example album title is the key and the value is this guy the s corresponds to the fact that this is a string uh, there's also different options like n for number b for boolean uh, ss for um, sorted set or for set i believe so there's a whole bunch of different uh, types depending on what you're inserting into your table uh, then we're also specifying the artist uh, it'll be this value and then song title it'll be this value uh, we're specifying two other options here, the return consume capacity. This can either be total um, indexes or none. Uh, I don't really know why this is required, but uh, seems to be required as part of your call. And then uh, the last part is specifying the table name being music in this example. So that's a required um, condition or required value for this API call as well. And then simply we just call the dynamodb.putItem uh, method. We provide the params object and then a callback function. We just um, you know log out the error if it's an error, log out the data if it's a success. And then here we see what the response is. Very, very simple, just tells you the consume capacity. So we consumed one unit on the uh, music table. Uh, so hopefully you found this video useful on how to use the put item api if you did don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next video thanks so much and i'll see you next time